in this video let's see another proof of the chapter inverse trigonometric functions we have already seen one proof of the formula tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus xy and in the previous proof we saw some condition on x y and their product xy in this video we are going to see another proof and i have already told you that these questions are basically the formulas only that you need to learn also and you need to understand the proof also so let's see what do we need to prove and let's get started with the proof let's read the question together the question says prove tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus xy plus pi and the condition on the independent and the dependent variable is given to me here these are just variables do not consider the fact that whether these are dependent or not x is greater than 0 y is greater than 0 and their multiplication or the product xy is greater than 1 so just as we did in the previous questions proof we are going to follow the same methodology in the beginning we are going to assume two things that let tan inverse x is equal to a and let tan inverse y is equal to b just as we did in the previous proof so if i write let tan inverse x is equal to a for the proof and let tan inverse y is equal to b what happens what is the value of x x basically becomes tan inverse goes to the other side so it becomes x is equal to tan a like the previous proof x is equal to tan a and similarly you can follow from the previous step that y would be equal to what tan inverse would go to the other side it would be y is equal to tan b this is as simple as that we have already studied how to do this in the previous proof now we know one better formula of tan a plus b what is the formula of tan a plus b which we studied in our junior class of class 11 it is tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a tan b 1 minus tan a tan b we remember this already since it is a formula i'll be enclosing it in a big box and now what is the value of tan a what is the value of tan b from the previous steps tan a is equal to x tan b is equal to y just put the values this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 my value of tan a and tan b are what they are basically tan a plus b is equal to tan a plus tan b that is x plus y x plus y upon 1 minus tan a into tan b tan a into tan b is what x into y so here we come to the value of tan a plus b which is equal to x plus y upon 1 minus xy this is important we are putting it in a box but the question does not stop here now when the question has basically converted into x and y form see what was the condition on x and y x was positive y was positive now x and y both positive means positive plus positive so the numerator is what numerator is positive i write plus ve numerator is positive what about the denominator denominator is 1 minus x into y what about xy xy is always greater than 1 say it is 2 so 1 minus 2 is minus 1 that means negative so overall positive upon negative will give me what result it will always be negative hence negative means less than 0 and since it is less than 0 tan a plus b is less than 0 so the further solution would be done on the right hand side tan a plus b is negative that means tan a plus b is less than 0 now since tan a plus b is less than 0 that means what that means my value of tan should be in which quadrant tan is negative in two quadrants second quadrant and fourth quadrant so the value can either be in second quadrant 
or it can be in fourth quadrant. Suppose I take second quadrant into consideration. If second quadrant is taken into consideration, I know one thing that it is minus pi by 2 to pi for a plus b. Why? Because second quadrant means 90 degree to 180 degree. This is just as we were doing in the previous proof. We are going to first find out what is the value of x, y, tan a plus b, what is the relationship with the help of the formula. Then we'll have a condition. Now, suppose I subtract pi from everywhere. I'll be writing subtract pi. If I subtract pi, it is or suppose if I add pi, whatever is suitable for us. See, if I add pi, pi plus pi becomes 2 pi. If I subtract pi, my things would be benefited. So I have pi by 2 to pi and subtracting pi is minus pi by 2. A plus b minus pi and here it is 0. Now, pi minus pi by 2. Or if I say pi by 2 minus pi minus pi by 2 a plus b minus pi and 0. So this is the range that we are getting for a plus b minus pi. That is lies between minus pi by 2 to 0. That is done. Now again what is the value of tan a plus b? The value of tan a plus b was x plus y upon 1 minus xy. Now tan theta is equal to what? In the positive value in which quadrant? It is equal to the value in the third quadrant. And third quadrant is tan 180 plus theta. So can I write tan a plus b, tan a plus b, this value, which was x plus y upon 1 minus xy, is equal to tan 180 minus theta tan 180 minus theta is what minus tan theta so I need to have a minus sign also right and these values are basically equal to x plus y upon 1 minus xy everybody knows how did I get this we have seen in class 11th that tan theta is equal to tan 180 plus theta if you need 180 minus theta just place one negative sign now if this negative goes inside what will happen it will make it tan See, I am introducing negative sign inside. This negative will go to pi. And this negative will go to a plus b also. So it goes to a plus b also. The a plus b was negative. It becomes positive. So it is tan a plus b which becomes positive. And this minus goes with pi. It becomes minus pi. So it is basically tan a plus b minus pi and what is the value of tan a plus b or a plus b minus pi? It is x plus y upon 1 minus xy. So the last but not the least step which leads to our conclusion is tan a plus b minus pi minus pi since it has to be in the bracket. Let's erase it and write it in the bracket. So it is tan a plus b minus pi is equal to what value is equal to the same value x plus y upon 1 minus xy. But again we are not done with the solution yet. Why? Because we were supposed to prove something in pi which is plus but here we have something in pi which is minus. So let me erase this part of solution. We have already done this and then we will move forward. So I am erasing this part of solution. Whatever is needed we have already written on the next side. Right. So we are with this step tan a plus b minus pi is equal to x plus y upon 1 minus xy. Now if this tan goes to the other side, what does it become? It becomes tan inverse. That is what we are going to do. a plus b minus pi from this side is equal to tan goes to the other side tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus xy. Right? Now see the proof what we needed to prove we needed tan inverse tan inverse but we have a and b no issues what did we assume we assumed a as tan inverse x here it is a right tan inverse x here it is b right tan inverse y pi is negative the other side it becomes positive so it is pi plus now again what is the value of x? Remember we assumed tan inverse x is equal to a. 
so x is equal to tan a so wherever you have x just write tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a tan b if you need it in tan and in case if you don't need it just don't replace any value write pi plus and the same thing repeated again so we can write the same thing repeated again both ways are correct you replace it with x or you don't replace now see the proof again what did we need to prove we needed tan inverse x plus tan inverse y which is done is equal to tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus xy plus pi so here goes the proof we've already proved this what did we do in this proof we basically did what we did in the previous proof we assumed two things tan inverse x is equal to a tan inverse y is equal to b the proof went in a manner that we needed a restriction a condition on a plus b chose the quadrant solved it accordingly used one formula tan a plus b is equal to tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan b so i'll be writing hence proved here and here goes the proof and in the next video we'll be seeing the next proof with the same condition but here pi wouldn't be there it would be minus pi